everyone welcome back to my channel my name is Risa and today I'm going to be doing a review of this Naughty Nudes palette and the Huda Beauty foundation sticks the faux filter skin finish foundation sticks I haven't tried any of these before so you guys are going to be getting like my raw like reaction um, as I'm using these for the first time but um if you guys want to see like what my thoughts are and what I, whether i would recommend getting these please keep watching before moving on to the actual like trying the foundation and letting you guys know what i think about everything please 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 click the like button down below like the video and subscribe if you want to see more of me and i would really appreciate it if you did it it would mean a lot to me but if not, that's cool too. I mean, you're just gonna miss out on great stuff, but that's on you. But yeah, and with that, let's jump right into my thoughts on the foundation and the eyeshadow palette. I got my hands on these a while ago, actually, back when the Sephora sale was happening, but I've just been so busy with just other things in life and whatever that I didn't get a chance to try these out yet. They're the Huda Beauty, Faux Filter Skin Finish Buildable Coverage Foundation Stick. And I have two colors because I ordered this online and I didn't really like, I didn't know which one would be my proper shade, even though it's great being a hijabi because you can get away with not matching your foundation to your neck. Because usually I have this like covered up till here so like no one can see my neck anyways. So if it's a little bit off, it's fine. I picked it up in two colors. I have Tres Leches, which is 320G. And then I have Baklava, which is 340G. Now the thing with these foundations is, so I have the liquid version of the foundation, or not the liquid version, but like the liquid Huda Beauty foundation. So I can't find it, but I have the faux filter foundation. And I think I have it, oh, okay. I have a faux filter foundation in Amaretto. First of all, that foundation did not work for me. It was super cakey and I love cakey foundations. I love full coverage. Like give me all the coverage you want and I'll be happy. Um, but that did not work for me. It also didn't work for my sister, but hopefully um, I'm gonna like these stick foundations because I do like stick foundations a little bit more. So this is shade 320 Tres Leches. It's the lighter one and it's okay. It might be a little bit light for me actually. We'll see. I might actually just mix the two and then this is Baklava. This is Baklava. This is actually, I think, going to be a better shade for me. Oh, yeah. So that's 320 Tres Leches, and that's 340 Baklava. I think, let's see. They're honestly not super different. So Tres Leches and then Baklava. Oh my God, they look exactly this. Actually, this looks more yellow on camera. Um, the baklava, this one looks a little bit yellow, but I think this is the better shade for me. So I'm just gonna blend it out. It blends very nicely, but it's not full coverage. It's a very light coverage. I might have to go in up more. Do you see that? Like, you can still see like all of my dark spots. You can see all of the redness here. And I'm used to like, I use the ColourPop um, no filter foundation stick. And I absolutely love that stuff because it's so full coverage, but this is not doing it. Like, it's a good amount of coverage, but like you could still see like the redness here. And I love full coverage and I was hoping this would be super full coverage. Okay. 
This is me with one layer of foundation on. I like it, I'm not gonna lie. It's not terrible, but you can see like all of the red that I have here. Usually like, yeah, I get it. I can use a green concealer. Like I can get rid of some of this stuff, but I don't usually use a green concealer unless I'm doing something, going to like a super fancy event when I use my ColourPop um, no filter foundation stick. Okay, you know what, maybe I'm not being fair because it says buildable coverage foundation stick. So let me try building it up. Let's put a little bit more. We'll just do like a second layer pretty much. There. So it's gonna be layer two. So let's see if adding a bit more foundation helps. So, I don't really know how I feel about this just yet. Maybe I have to finish my makeup to know if I like it or not, but it's a, it built up, like the coverage is there now that I put a second layer on. So no issues with that. I just, in person, you can see all of my pores and I use like a pore filling primer. Like I use my Smashbox primer that I use with everything. Um, and this kind of like makes my pores look huge. Um, the color is a good match. Um, so I'm happy with that. But I don't know. Yeah. You know what? I'm going to come back and actually pull, put like concealer, powder, blush, bronzer, um, and then I'll show you what it looks like with everything on. For the eyeshadow, I picked up this Naughty palette, um, or Naughty Nude palette is I think what it's called. Let's see. Yep. So this is the Naughty Nude palette, right? And I actually really like it. It's like, it's a little bit more like pink toned, but still neutral. So that's that, right? Super pretty colors. I think they're, it's like a good everyday type palette. The only color that I think is a little bit weird is like this color up here, slippery, because I don't know if it like has a color to it. Cause it looks like it has little blobs of pigment. like. If you look at that, that one right there, it's like, there's pigment in it, but it's also a gloss. So I don't know what it is. And every other color in here just looks super pretty. I actually haven't swatched any of these yet. So I can do that right now and kind of like show you guys what it looks like. So let's do one matte color. I'll do spicy because spicy looks pretty nice. Oh, that's a pretty color. So that's spicy. And then ch -ch -ch, passion. This one looks super interesting because it's like pink and blue and like a dark purple. Okay. I, I don't know what I was expecting from this color, but it, it's a really cool like duochrome like kind of reminds me of like mac blue brown almost because it's like a purpley blue let's do flower power so that's flower power i kind of mostly just want to like swatch the swirled colors because they're just interesting like you don't really know what kind of color you're gonna get this one's a really pretty color this is flower power and then should i do a normal color I'll swatch Please Me because Please Me looks really nice. Okay. Please Me is like the, like, it's a pretty good, like, bronzy color for all over the lid. And then with my thumb, I'm going to swatch Slippery, which is that weird color. And I don't think it's going to have a color to it. The act oh, wait. Okay, so it has a little bit of shimmer to it from the pigments, like you can see that. It got a little smudged, but that is what that looks like. 
it literally just looks like a clear gloss with like a little bit of glitter i i don't know how that's gonna work on an eyeshadow or like an eye look but yeah it literally like disappears into nothing when you swatch it like you can barely see that right there um let me swatch the other colors Ooh, this is please me that's really pretty and then spicy the matte color right there and then passion oh passion is actually really pretty and then what was it flower power that that one right there is flower power okay so i first impression i like all of the colors i think they swatch pretty well i honestly am not too like surprised that they swatch well because she does do good like Huda Beauty does do good eyeshadows I'm just I don't know how I feel about this guy right here I feel like she's trying to be different and put like an eye gloss in a palette but I don't know if that's a good idea so let me I'm gonna try to use it in my eyeshadow look that I do today but we'll see if it works out because I'm not really sure I'm gonna start off with a light color. I think Hypnotic, which is this color, would be a little too light. So I'm gonna use Rough. And I'm just gonna build up like my crease area. Okay, not bad. It's just your typical like crease color, super. Blendable. I don't think you guys could really see a big actually no you can see a big difference there but I'm just gonna use that in the crease I'm not really gonna be precise with it just like super messy put that shit everywhere now okay now I'm gonna Pick up Naughty, this color right here. Yeah, I'm gonna use this once again in the crease, but I'm not gonna be as messy as I was last time and like put it everywhere. I'm gonna keep it a little bit lower because I don't wanna take this color, like because it's pretty dark, I don't wanna take it super high up. I'm gonna use Spicy, why not? And I'm just going to pack this in to the outer corner. Okay. And I'm just going to build it up. Like, to the outer third, I would say, of the eye. Like, do you see that? It's just like a block of color. And then I'm going to do the same on the inner third of the eye. And I'm going to leave, like, the center part empty now I'm gonna take that same um, blush that I was blush I'm gonna take the same brush brush not blush that I was using and I'm not gonna pick up any other product on it but I'm just gonna blend this color out I actually do really like these eyeshadows. I feel like they blend out really nicely, especially the matte ones, because I've only used the matte ones so far, but they do work pretty good. And they're not patchy. Like that's the thing with a lot of mattes, especially when they're super dark colors, they could be a little patchy or I don't know, just like look weird and be hard to blend. But these blend pretty good. Okay, so there you go. Now I'm gonna take, I'm gonna take Please Me, that color right there. And I think I'm just gonna put that like right where, if you see that blank area, that is where I'm going to put this color. I think what I'm also gonna do is I'm gonna take Tantric, which is a little bit of the lighter gold there. And I'm gonna put this right on Top. Ooh. Ooh. 
wait this actually looks so good in person like that is a blinding color like I don't even know if it looks as good on camera as it does in person but wow it's literally like a gold foil eyeshadow that looks amazing okay wow okay I love this I absolutely love this oh my god this 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 color it just makes the entire palette worth it oh my god so I don't remember where my purple eyeliners are so I'm using this Milani easy liner for lips retractable pencil and sugar plum and I'm gonna put that in my waterline I'm gonna take rough this light brown color and I'm just gonna put that on my lower lash line I'm just gonna take that spicy color again this one right here and then put that underneath my lash line too Before I say that's it, I'm going to take Flower Power, which is this duochrome color, not duochrome, like the, the blended mixed color or whatever, and put that in the inner corner. Not too much though, because I don't think I want it to be like super bam in your face. I just need a little bit of color in here, or like something to brighten it. So that's that. And then I want to see if I like this like weird slippery color, this guy right here. So I'm going to try picking it up with a brush. Like it's weird because it's kind of like, like it's mixing, but it's like Vaseline, like like petroleum jelly that you get like in those big tubs that's what it kind of feels like it doesn't even show up on the brush so i don't know what i would do on your lid i'm gonna try hopefully it doesn't ruin what i have going on but let's see i don't want this to mess things up though you know what whatever So, I don't know, this slippery color, it's not for me, but everything else on this palette, or whatever I did try, I will say I liked. So, I'm going to go, I'm going to do my eyeliner and mascara and lipstick off camera, and I'll be back to kind of give you my final thoughts on the foundation, on the palette, and then if I would really recommend it or not. Now, let's talk. Would I recommend the foundation and the palette? Let's start with the foundation first. So the foundation, I liked it, you know, it was like, I don't know, like it's weird because it's not a terrible foundation. I actually like this a lot more than I like their liquid foundation. So if you want to try it out, I would say like if you're torn between the two, like between the faux filter foundation, um, the liquid, and then this one, I would say maybe try this one out um, just because I like this a lot more than I like the liquid foundation but this also isn't like what's my number one recommendation for a foundation from Sephora this does not even come close um, like my skin looks pretty good on camera I will say like from what I can see from here I think it looks good on camera but in person I don't know like I feel like you could see all of my pores and like every tiny little detail and I'm not the biggest fan of that but I don't know like from far away like it looks fine so I don't really know how I feel about this foundation it's like one of those like if you want to try it go for it but 
if you're looking for like your wedding foundation or like you're going to this event and you really need something full coverage and you need something that you know is going to work i wouldn't say this is the foundation that i would go for so if you want to build a collection and you just want to like try it out go for it if not maybe you could pass i'm honestly like i'm not gonna tell you you have to go out and buy it because it didn't blow me away it wasn't like oh my god my skin looks amazing um you know this this is like life changing i feel like it's an okay foundation and that's all i have to say about it and then this palette this palette right here go get your hands on it i think it's worth it other than this stupid like gloss color i don't know what she was trying to do didn't work though at least not for me um i like the mattes they're pretty blendable i like the shimmers they work really well especially this color tantric like this color makes the entire palette like this color is worth just going and getting the entire palette that's how much i love it but i do like it i would say this this is a go like if you were to if you had to buy one thing like the new foundation or the new palette buy the palette you're gonna get so much more use out of it it's a lot more I don't know like you could you could do an everyday look with this like this could be like your everyday makeup palette and you would be fine right because it has like all the light colors it has your mattes and then it also has the darker colors and you can do something super smoky and like dramatic and you can make it look really good um but yeah i like this this i would recommend if you really want to hit a beauty palette final thoughts get this amazing i love it that 110 trick shadow that made the palette for me and then these guys right here if you really want to try it out go ahead and try it out like it won't hurt it might hurt your wallet just a little bit because these are kind of expensive but up to you if you want to try it try it if you don't um you're not missing out but also let me know what you think like on camera what do you guys think like do you think the foundation looks good with all the makeup done with everything done do you think it looks like a good foundation on me and remember i used a lot of powder because i have oily skin but just put it down in the comments below like leave a comment tell me if you like it or not and like if it looks good to you because i'm kind of curious because i don't really know exactly how i feel about this but that was it for today's video thank you all so much for watching and i know i kind of fell off the whole video thing for a while there's just i have stupid excuses like oh i didn't have time because clearly my background's different i moved to a different room like we repainted a whole bunch of stuff um but that obviously <laughs> didn't take like what nine months i think that's around how long it's been since i last posted but yeah just things kept coming up stupid excuses but i'm hoping it's the last of those excuses and i can start actually putting videos out but um thank you so much for watching and i'll see you guys next time bye